Holly Model 4165 and 4175 carburetors are considered universal Q-Jet replacement carburetors and are easily identified by these features. Single inlet, side hung float bowls, a primary metering block, no secondary metering block, and no accelerator pump on the rear bowl. 4165 models are mechanical secondary carburetors. 4175 models are vacuum secondary carburetors and will have a vacuum secondary unit connected to the secondary throttle shaft on the passenger side of the carburetor. 4165 and 4175 models are designed to fit to a spread bore intake bolt pattern, but can also use an adapter to bolt to square bore intakes. There's a lot more to the 4165 and 4175 model carburetors. Let's take a closer look. Starting with the throttle body, which is also referred to as the base plate, you will find two large vacuum ports. The one at the rear is for a power brake booster, and the one on the front is meant for PCV. Any small ports on the base plate will supply full manifold vacuum signal for items such as a purge canister, EGR, or an air cleaner. Keep any of these unused ports plugged up with a cap. On the base plate of the 4165 and the 4175 model, you'll notice an arm that will operate the accelerator pump of the front fuel bowl. Model 4175 vacuum secondary carburetors only have one accelerator pump located on the front fuel bowl. A model 4165 will have an accelerator pump located on the rear bowl as well. The throttle plate assembly also has a curb idle adjuster screw on the driver's side which sets the idle speed of the engine by opening and closing the primary throttle plates, allowing more air to enter the engine. On the passenger side, you'll find the fast idle adjustment screw. Like every Holley carburetor, the 4165 and 4175 have a primary metering block with two primary jets. Idle mixture is set by adjusting the idle mixture screws located on each side of the metering block. Engine idle speed is set with the curb idle screw found on the base plate. 4165 and 4175 models come with single inlet, side hung float bowls. These bowls have a single inlet located on the front of the primary bowl. On the bottom exterior of all primary fuel bowls is an accelerator pump. The accelerator pump arm is affixed to the base plate and presses against the diaphragm inside the accelerator pump housing. The secondary system on the 4165 and 4175 carburetors have one major distinguishing factor that separates it from 4150 models. There's no secondary metering block. If we were to remove the rear fuel bowl, we would find a secondary metering plate instead fitted directly to the main body. Since there's only one inlet for fuel in the primary bowl on this style of carb, there's a fuel transfer tube that will bring fuel from the primary inlet to the secondary fuel bowl. Now over to the passenger side of the carburetor. A model 4175 controls the opening and closing of the secondary throttle plates with the vacuum unit on the passenger side of the carburetor. As the engine runs and the Venturi air velocity increases the vacuum signal, the vacuum secondary assembly will automatically open when needed to supply the proper amount of fuel. Holly has accessory kits available that contain different springs with various tensions that can be used to tune the system to your engine's exact requirements. One more component to review is the choke assembly. 4175 carburetors come equipped with an electric choke. The position of the choke plate is controlled automatically when the engine is started and returns by itself to its closed position when the engine is off. That will cover most of the details for the 4165 and 4175 model Holley carburetors. Let's see what's next.